Today is November 23rd, Pastor is saying to us, our eternal advocate. Our opening scripture comes from the book of 1 John chapter 2, verse 1. My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. The greatness of the Father's love for us is indeed beyond human comprehension. No wonder the Spirit had to pray through Paul for the church to come to the understanding of the immensity, magnitude, and unconditional love of the Father towards us. Ephesians chapter 3 verses 18 to 19. He sent Jesus to die for us. He raised him from the dead and appointed him as our eternal advocate. Hallelujah. He said in our theme verse, If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father. Jesus Christ the righteous. No one else qualifies to plead your case except the one who died in your place. He took your place as a sinner and gave you his righteousness. No one can condemn you before the Father. When Satan, who is described in Scripture as the accuser of God's people, accuses you and tries to declare you undeserving of God's blessings, the Lord Jesus, your advocate, stands up in your defense. He pleads your case. The Bible says, He loved us and washed us from our sins in His own blood. Revelation chapter 1 verse 5. His blood speaks continually in your behalf, cleansing you from all unrighteousness and every stain of sin. 1 John chapter 1 verse 7. Jesus did all that He did in order to present you holy, blameless, and unreprovable in the sight of God. Colossians chapter 1 verse 22. In heaven, Jesus isn't trying to defend you from the Father's wrath, for the Father himself loves you. John chapter 16 verse 27. The Father ordained Jesus to be your advocate, counsel for the defense. With him on your side, it's impossible for you to be defeated or disadvantaged. Hallelujah. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, I thank you for your grace, mercy, and love by which I live a life of glory, free from sin, guilt, and condemnation. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that cleanses me from all unrighteousness, making me holy, unblameable, and unreprovable in your sight. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 5 to 6, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 24, the Amplified Classic, and John chapter 14, verse 16 of the Amplified Classic. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 22 to chapter 2, verses 1 to 25, and Ezekiel chapters 29 to 30. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Jude chapter 1, verses 1 to 11, and Daniel chapters 11 to 12. Rhapsody of reality.